go out from your country your relatives and your father's household to the land that i will show you then i will make you into a great nation heeding to this call made abraham the father in faith for a multitude of nations jesus felt the need to leave his native place and settle down in kafarnaum and later to leave from there to other places to preach the good news the church is the people of god that constantly goes out of itself towards others go out is also the clarion call of pope francis to a stagnant church intent on its own security and comfort it is this going out that has made the church alive Jesus for me is feel he is a friend of mine and he's always with me guiding me and protecting me Jesus is my best friend whom I can really trust and he's a very faithful friend of mine I should say where he really understands me and whom I can really share about my personal things Jesus is the savior who rooted in my life in every way and he is my my friend and i willing to serve him and i willing even to give up my life for him jesus said you pray i will never forsake you i will be with you but i need to feel that one he is with me but am i with him if the European people or in India itself they ask what is special in Joseph Jesus I may tell them he gave life for us we got really deep faith because of the great sacrifice of the missionaries who came to this unknown place they knew nothing but they learned the country they learned the people the culture and they walked everywhere and in that way the faith has grown in the brahmaputra valley and today i think it is the reverse order as you say because today i th- today we have to go out to others i think i think that is why jesus uh, preached uh, jesus uh, mandate go out to the whole world and preach the good news today i see is very valid today i think god is telling the people of this region you go out to the rest of the world and preach the good news yes once we received missionaries from other countries and now we are called upon to contribute uh, by sending missionaries we have uh, something very important to offer jesus christ the one who has answered the problems and one who is the answer to all our problems and that is what we have to offer them and that is what we have yeah to be a missionary i am young only but i am learning i am training myself to be here if i want to give jesus to other people means first i need to be a receiver of jesus first i need to be filled with the love and grace of jesus then only i able to give to others if i am empty inside myself means I, it will be a foolish thing myself saying i i am going to give jesus to others that is the thing we are learning in our aspirant age we are getting more to be like jesus to follow him more closely walk 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 in the light walk 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 in the light walk 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 in the light walking in the light of the lord it's a great day to praise the lord it's a great day to praise the lord it's a great day to praise the lord walking in the light of the lord Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. On Sundays, uh, all of them go out to the different villages. 
in order to interact with the people, whether they are Muslims or Hindus or Christians. And there is a good response on part of the people. They accept them, they sit with them, they talk, they get to know their family background. They try to find out of the Christians, whether they know the Christian faith. We give them one month of placement, so to say, in a missionary area. Last year we had sent them to Gauhati province and to various uh, mission stations there. This year also we send them in the month of March. So in this way, various uh, initiatives are taken, which keeps the focus of uh, missionary life alive in their minds. Every day we have a timetable that is organized such a way in order to uh, help these young, young people to get empowered through classes. They deepen their knowledge of the language, English and other program subjects in order to prepare for exams. Then other activities that we have like hobbies uh, to build up their talents. So they, have, they try to develop their talents so they can be useful with the youngsters when they go to the different places. The students rise early in the morning at 5.30 and the daily routine begins with the prayer, morning prayer, followed by Mass. Then they have little time for revision of their license of the previous day. Then they have uh, morning jobs, cleaning household uh, articles or uh, keeping the place clean, their own um, dormitories, etc. Then they have uh, a breakfast and after breakfast they have the uh, classes till 12.30 p.m. Then other activities continue after lunch also, like uh, playing of musical instruments, etc. And in the evening they have uh, games for about one hour. Then they have about solid two hours for uh, study and personal reflection. And the day ends after supper with the rosary, night prayers and the good night, as, the, as is the Salesian custom. It is the right time for us to prepare young people with a missionary orientation to send them to within the country and outside the country. And the Rector Major was very supportive of this type of venture. Uh, he, in fact, he told us that uh, so many missionaries from Europe went to different parts of the world and especially in India. And it is a time for India to give missionaries to the rest of the world. Don Bosco had hardly a few Salesians in his hands when he chose to send out the best among them to the missions in Patagonia. Blessed Philip Rinaldi, another Don Bosco, understood that the missionary dimension was an indispensable aspect of Salesian charism, nay of our baptismal call itself. So he came up with the genial idea of missionary aspirantate in 
every year. In about 40 years, this powerhouse sent out about 1,000 missionaries all over the world, a large number of who landed also in India. Certainly, Sirajuli as well as Perambur, they are to be termed as the, the new Ivraya. We are trying to make this one the Ivraya of uh, Northeast in India. Ivraya in the olden time was uh, a beautiful setting. There was a Christian atmosphere. The people came from uh, good families and came from uh, religious minded families. But here we find also same people are coming from Christian families. There's a Christian environment, there are people um, uh, know the church, they know Don Bosco, they love Don Bosco, they love Jesus. So we have here the break from Evria sent by the rector as a sign of uh, linking Collegamento, they say in Italian, the that institute and this institute. This brick is taken from the wall of the chapel in Ivrea, and there's a place where so many Salesians prayed. Certainly, that is the first missionary aspirantate that we have had in the congregation and which has produced many missionaries, which is, so to say, has spread the congregation all over the world. And given the time that we are also ready for contributing missionaries, we have started this institute, Missionary Aspirantate, in line with Ivraya. The very spirit that animated them is animating us, both here as well as in Sirajuli. And from there only we got more than 100, 460 missionaries for India. Now in foreign countries, they need missionaries. So we are the fruit of them. We need to give the same spirit they gave Don Bosco for India. So that place now may take in India, Perambur and Sirajuli to be the Ivreyas of India. The Indian church has a long tradition of being missionary. From the western coast, southern parts of the peninsula and Chotanagpur area, Thousands of missionaries have gone out to the race of India and the world to preach the gospel. According to a recent survey, Indian Catholic missionaries are found working today in more than 166 countries. Salesians from India are working today in all the continents, working marvels of faith and development. We try to stress on the intellectual formation. The intellectual because they have to need to have a capacity to grasp, to understand, to interact with the society that is educated. At the same time, the spiritual formation is taken care of because all through the uh, to the day, to the course of the day, we're trying to have a moments of prayer, but we are trying to highlight the Salesian spirituality that our work is also a prayer. When it is done with a generosity, with a, no other motives but to do good. Given the fact that this is an aspirant it, and we would like to concentrate on the human formation. Of course, the other aspects of formation like the intellectual formation, spiritual formation go side by side. But our focus is much more human formation and basic Christian formation by way of catechism and we also expect that they pick up some languages. For the young people, the term missionary meant in the past and the present, the group is to go and preach Christ through our life, to our witness value, the way we move out to people in need. So you have to prepare a ground by which the people accept them and then you take them at a deeper level of faith formation. For them, missionary is the one who leaves the country 
goes to another place, leaves his own birthplace, leaves his own uh, dwellings and goes to another place in order to be a Christian and witness to his Christian life. I feel special this vocation because everybody not got this vocation. This the two a priest in Salesian, missionary is not a uh, ordinary thing. It's a special, precious thing, which I got. For me, the missionary means proclaiming the word of God, those uh, the, to the people, those who don't know about God. According to me, missionary means uh, a man who gives totally himself. To, for the service of God, to do what is right and to show good example to others. Not by saying to become missionaries or go to the different places, but to be a missionary is to give totally and for the sake of Christ and to bring the good news to others. First of all, I would say that it is a cult from God because this is a platform to where we are able to be very open, means where we will be in our open platform to, to share our Christ experience. All the Salesian provinces, aspirantists and formation houses of India are places of missionary formation. We have started two missionary aspirantists in India with the intention of giving a fresh impetus for the missions, particularly to take care of those young men whom the Lord may be calling right from the beginning to go out of their native area within India or abroad. The most attracting in the Salvation life is that uh, I like the Salvation Fathers, the style, their habits and their walking style and the smiling. They have seen good priests and so they would like to be good priests. They have seen good solutions and so they would like to be good solutions. And they have heard about missionaries and we do have had, uh, we have had also problems of uh, missionary persecution and religious persecution in India in some pockets. And looking at that, they also say, why not we take up that kind of a thing? And therefore, motivation is towards preaching the gospel. There is also a um, sort of a fear among the confreres that the, these youngsters may be opting to join to the, go to the mission because they had the opportunity to go abroad. But uh, listening to them, that is not the reason why they have come. But they find there's an inner uh, longing to offer themselves to God, to grow in Christ. In fact, one of the things they often tell me is that so many missionaries came from abroad and at a very tender age when they are 15, 16, 17 years old, why should we not offer ourselves? If we have received from them, it's a time for us to give back to those countries and those people, especially when there is a need of missionaries in different parts of the world. Yes, I feel that God is calling me. I feel that God has called me. Because uh, especially when I talk about this, comes into this vocation, especially I would like to emphasize that. Because from the very childhood, when I was in class 9 standard, I have a deep desire to, be, to join this uh, priestly vocation. Here I am in this missionary institute as a witness of God. Because in my childhood, I never thought of becoming a priest. Of course. They are not yet ready to launch into the missionary life already when they are 15 or 18 or immediately after, but they need to be prepared. In fact, uh, looking at our own missionaries who have landed up in India, many of them were very, very young. They belonged to the middle class families in Tamil Nadu. 
and from the christian point of view they are all from good catholic families in fact when we select the candidates we always have a, uh, check on the families we visit the families see that uh, they are good catholic practicing families and then only we will select The boys here are from 12 states from the country and they are coming from Christian background, Christian families. Uh, they are from middle class, most of them are middle class and some are quite little well-to-do class uh, of a uh, little high standard of life. And there are few are from poorer families. But we make sure that the poor families, they, come, they don't come with a motive of uh, getting benefit for themselves, but really a pure motive of, of giving themselves to God. We have boys from Arunachal Pradesh, from Tripura, these are the states that have been recently evangelized over the past 30, 40 years. But uh, we find that uh, these youngsters are stronger in their faith. <laughs> first two months it was really a tough I was very difficult to adapt it because the thing which I was brought up from the family and how I was with the youth in this beginning when I came here uh, I didn't understand their saying rules a lot of rules I think uh, the Salesians gave a great contribution to this region, especially in Northeast India, and he gave the Catholic faith. They made Jesus known through in Northeast India. Yes, it's true, I am uh, the last Salesian, foreign Salesian to enter in India, and I have ever tried my best to help in whatever, whatever I could in the, in the printing section as a binder and also in the music, in preparing the people for the band, for, uh, for uh, singing uh, and other activities among the young people. <laughs> Europe, Italy, you and Europe require help from abroad, so uh, the, these aspirants are getting ready for that. These houses, besides having a special programs, are also a reminder to the rest of our basic missionary call. If there are some signs of stagnation and fatigue in our religious life and a slump in vocations, a missionary thrust is one of the best ways of renewal and fresh dynamism. The Lord is never outdone in generosity. We will always have work in our own native areas, but that should not blind us to the ever-increasing needs in other parts of the world. <laughs>